What is going on, everybody? It's Lazivo here, back with some more whatever this is going to be news stories. Uh, if you guys don't listen to the podcast, I had a segment on there that was called like Lazivo's News Headlines. And so what I thought I would do, since we're kind of on a hiatus from the Cat Daddy with the Goons podcast, is I'm going to bring in some buddies. We're going to talk about these crazy news stories that I find. And so I brought in a couple of my uh, close friends I game with all the time. I guess we'll start with Mortis. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's up, bitches? <laughs> If you guys didn't see my last video, Mortis is the one that I did the uh, coming in hot pickup with. And 90% of the other Battlefield videos. <laughs> yeah, he's the he's known for his cameos among our groups. So, uh, And I all, I'm also joined by Ford, or I Dig Your Grave. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, what's going on, guys? Ford has uh, a pretty successful YouTube channel, another Yoush director. So links to both of their channels will be in the description, even though Mortis doesn't post as often as I'd like. So, or at all or, or at all but yeah. uh, occasionally you'll see a, a montage or something like that come out of him you know once a year he makes an appearance but anyway so without further ado let's jump into some news stories here okay so i pulled up a few of these let's see what uh let's let's see how this how, how this goes uh it's the inaugural youtube video version okay first headline sex for cheeseburgers <laughs> Christine Baker offered favors for two doubles, cops say. <laughs> so, apparently, there's this chick in Florida, uh, the Miami Herald reports. It's, the, the, the headline's hilarious. It says, she was loving it a little too much. <laughs> da, 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 da. See, that reminds me of the, the dude from fucking Popeye, where it's like, I'll gladly yes, pay you on be. Tuesday for <laughs> a, a hamburger today. I, I will gladly <laughs> pay you on Tuesday. For a hamburger today. I was just like, thinking the same damn thing. Like, god damn, it can't be like, you know, I'll give you a blowjob for fucking twenty dollars. No, I just want what two double max or some shit like that from fucking McDonald's <laughs> or some shit like that. Like not even the fries. Just buy me two double max. That's exactly that's exactly what what it says here. It says can I, Oh go ahead, Mortis. Can I get some extra special sauce with that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Secret sauce. It says Manatee resident Christine Faith Baker age 47, was, oh. ar- was arrested after she allegedly offered sexual favors for two McDonald's dollar menu cheeseburgers. Oh, so it's not even like a Big Mac. It's it's one of those like little flimsy dimsy, like here's a maybe a slice of cheese and a pickle and a bun. Yeah, that's right. exactly. They're cheese, shredded onions, and uh, ketchup. First of all, who the hell would tell on her? Like, if she came up to me, unless she's, like, bug fugly ugly, I wouldn't even say anything. I'd be like, you know, I'd wait for that other dude who's really desperate to get any kind of, you know, action. He could have that. But, like, who would who would fucking call the cops on that? If she's you know 47 I mean? years old. Well, these are no, not. Like, as I'm reading through this, these were undercover cops that, like, were, I guess, on some kind of sting operation. <laughs> oh, that was the sting operation? Fucking... Hookers outside McDonald's, yeah. you know, fucking drive-through window. She wants meat in a bun to put your meat in her buns. Oh, Jesus Christ, <laughs> Eva, why do you always do that? Because uh, that's the way my brain works. Uh, it says, um, Baker allegedly said that her fee was two McDoubles, the dollar menu version of a double cheeseburger, costing a grand total of two seventy-five. The thing is, it's not even a double cheeseburger, though, because there's... If you go anywhere else, get a double. If you order a double cheeseburger yeah. from McDonald's, it's a dollar thirty nine. If you order right. a McDouble, it's like ninety nine cents. One slice of it, cheese. One slice of cheese. <laughs> she didn't even. She didn't even go for the extra thirty nine cents. She's like, for uh, for her reach around, I want a McDouble, a fucking double instead of a McDouble. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny because he like it says the the uh, detective went and picked up the burgers. And drove to a vacant lot, and then she was arrested. <laughs> not, before she, not before she fellaged him, though. <laughs> it says it's did, un- yeah. Did she at least like get the fucking hamburgers? Like here, no, you, I know you're fucking hungry. It says or they put un- that shit into evidence. It says it's yet unclear whether she was allowed to eat the delicious doubles before she was taken to jail. Oh my god! Here's Exhibit A and Exhibit B. Fucking Dude, not, McDonald's burgers. They're not even that good. <laughs> I know. <laughs> no, they're not. Could have went with some White Castles or something. Oh, yeah. Let's go to White Castle. <laughs> All right. Let's move on to the next news story, unless you guys got anything. Got anything no. To no. Okay. 
I wish I knew a hooker that I could get flashed for a couple of bucks. <laughs> for 275 No shit. Yeah, Jesus Christ. To go to the bunny ranch with that shit. I got 275 in my pocket. Oh, wait, wait, I got a crave case. Let me in. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next headline. Raymond Foley, IT administrator, allegedly urinated, urinated on female co-workers' chairs for five months. <laughs> Says you thought your IT guy at work was looking through your emails. Turns out he's peeing on your chair, too. So this guy worked for Farm Bureau Financial Services, and he, he was regi- uh, he was al- arrested after he allegedly did just that. Um, this guy's 59 years old, caught on surveillance video, allegedly urinating on four female co-workers' chairs over the course of at least five months. I, this this kind of creeps me out. And how do you not know that your chair is being pissed on for five months? I don't know, but I can tell you this. Progressive probably let him get away with it. <laughs> it dude, this is this guy's creepy looking. I'm, if, if, I'll put all the links to these videos in the uh, or these news stories in the uh, description. So go check them out. This guy's this guy's freaky. Uh, kind of a creepy looking IT dude. Okay, Here. so like an IT uh, IT guy is usually there for you know depending on the situation like an hour tops. Okay, so at <laughs> some point you're going to lunch, you're taking a piss, and then he you know he he slaps it out and he decides to take a piss also. But when <laughs> that's done, the pee's still there. It's not like it dries up unless he has a fucking box fan or something sitting right next to him. How do you not like sit down and go, oh, why is my ass wet? Like how did it go on for five months? Maybe I don't it's know, like. But- you know when you take your dog for a walk and he just pisses a little bit here and a little bit there? Like, maybe maybe he's it's... marking his territory like mine. mine, yeah. mine like the fucking cat. He's a, he's a, that's my chair. You're mine. I just pissed <laughs> him. And now they said allegedly, like do, uh, like, do they let this go on for a couple of weeks or they just catch him once to be like, oh, yeah, he's been doing it for five months. Like, it, sounds, they... it sounds it like sounds... Maybe they, they caught him and then went back and said, oh, like, holy shit, he's been doing this for five five months or whatever. <laughs> that is one angry motherfucker. You have probably, I mean, because the IT guys usually make some pretty decent money. Yeah, you know, it gets, depending on the job. It it gets a little creepier because it says he would pick out the attractive females, and then on off hours he would come into work, go to their desk, urinate on their chairs. So apparently, this was some kind of. He's trying to attract them. It's yeah. just like an just like an animal. He's he's spraying. He's spraying his musk. <laughs> his <laughs> musk. <laughs> How could you not smell that? I know. I don't know about you, but I've met some IT guys, and I'm almost an IT guy, and I have a horrible diet, so my piss reeks. Sixty <laughs> percent of the time, this works every time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you. What is the gain like to gain of that? Like, I don't get it. Like, is he mad because they're beautiful and he can't have them? Like. I, it doesn't really explain his motives. It just said he picked them. He went into the company's database to find the profiles of, of to locate his victims, and he would only pick out attractive women. Well, at least he's not a serial killer. <laughs> Damage a parking lot and pissing in their face or something like that. Damage to the chairs was estimated at about forty five hundred dollars. <laughs> what? Really? It was his piss was <laughs> acid or something? <laughs> it must have been. Well, you know, like it's like when a cat pisses on a bed. That bed's never the same. You know, so I'm guessing that chair is just, you know. Yeah, but these are off chairs. These are chairs that are not, like, fucking expensive. And if they're like five bucks or something like that, like, you could wipe that shit off. There's no damage to that. Yeah, 25 bucks. They're mostly plastic. They're mostly plastic. 25 <laughs> yeah, it's bucks, fucking man. Plastic with fucking padding on top. Like, <laughs> that's all it is. Oh, man. I know the office chairs at my work fucking suck. Yeah, apparently you want to work at Farm Bureau Financial because they have sweet chairs. I guess. Jeez, forty five hundred dollars for four chairs? Are you kidding me? <laughs> uh, That's all ridiculous. All right, last news story I got. Uh, headline says: Man saws off his own foot to avoid work. Jesus fucking Christ! <laughs> what was his job? <laughs> it's, uh, let's let's find out here. It says police said the desperate fifty six year old man deliberately sliced sliced it off above the ankle with a mechanical saw and threw it into an oven. I don't know why you need to do that. The man's from Southern Australia. He did this, then hobbled into his garage and called an ambulance. Okay. <laughs> I hate my job, but what the fuck? I don't... Does this Does this even, like... Is, where's this along the list of calling in sick? Like, why did, what's, what's wrong with that? What happened why to that? Why did he go from, like, just, like, calling in sick to... 
freaking sawing, you know, sawing off his leg or foot or whatever. Where's the breaking of the foot? I could see that or jumping from like a two story building and like busting your shit up. And and why throw it in the oven? Like, are you gonna cook that later? You'd be like, hmm, let me put some Brussels sprouts in between the toes. Like, what what the fuck are you trying to do there? <laughs> All I can think is he was a male prostitute and he's tired to take it in the ass. <laughs> for cheeseburgers. For cheeseburgers. Yeah, for cheeseburgers. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, what was his job? It it doesn't it says he was due to have a health check with the labor department on whether he was fit to work. So apparently he was trying to avoid that. He's so drawing he, yeah, he'll he, never be <clears throat> <laughs> He's trying to draw he, yeah, he's trying to draw work in Perkins comp. It says emergency services recovered the foot from the oven. However, the foot was taken to the hospital, but it was so badly burned that it cannot be sewn back on. So Damn, it, that's why I threw it in there. He didn't want he it back. He turned that fucking oven on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he what turned it on. Fuck? He was waiting for a snack. Ugh. This is, yeah, this is disturbing. I've never, I, I don't even call in sick to work, let, you know, let alone slice my foot off. I, I would never even uh, picture that. I mean, that's fucking like saw in my head right there. The fucking movie just saw. Like, <laughs> I know. How the fuck can you do that? I don't know. You'd have to be. Maybe he was on something. It doesn't say, but you, you got to be. He, it, it looks like he, there's a picture of a table saw. So it looks like that's what he used. Jesus Christ. You know how hard <laughs> that would be to go through bone? <laughs> God damn. Ah, just, just thinking of that. And why not a hand? That's easier it says, to do. <laughs> it says maybe he's a gamer. Which one do you choose, though? Like, <laughs> how do you how do you choose which foot to cut off? I, I don't know. It's I'm laughing because it says he was in stable condition, but I'm I'm guessing he's pretty unstable now. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> 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 uh, well, at least yeah, he chose dude. the foot and not the leg, because I guess the the I mean the foot. <laughs> wouldn't be as bad as like the whole entire leg because you could just put like a little flipper at the end to like you know simulate a fucking foot or some shit. <laughs> this is a ridiculous story. Call in sick. If you guys want to miss work, call in sick. This is this is a little excessive. Or just Gosh. quit. Jesus. Anyway. Stab yourself. <laughs> that's my last news story. I think we're approaching the end of this commentary. Uh, thank you, Mortis and Ford, for coming on. If you guys got any last words, go ahead and shout them out. I want to go get a cheeseburger. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. Find me, a, find me an ATM machine. Two two cheeseburgers to touch it. Three to watch me jerk it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for coming on. This is awesome. We're gonna. This is definitely gonna be a running series until the uh, podcast comes back. So look for more in the future. Maybe one a week or something like that. Uh, that's it for now, guys. Talk to you later.